Okay, hi guys. Hello all. Um, I'm Emma, and I am an exec member on the Food Bank. Um, I have a few questions to ask you, as I assume you know. Um, my first question is, uh, the core issue we advocate for on campus is food assistance, as you can see by our name. Um, however, I feel that um, at the core of food assistance is poverty, and both temporary and persistent. There have been other student issues discussed on campus, large issues like mental health and student debt. However, one at the core of that is poverty, and I feel that there are many untapped issues uh, dealing with poverty on campus. So my question to VP Education would be, how would you advocate to the university about poverty, as well as what would your strategies be to, uh, to implement awareness to the university in general? Oh, oh shit. Oh, VP Education, oh, okay. yes. <laughs> um, so one of the things that we can look at, um, especially from uh, the VP Ed standpoint, is um, empowering your uh, the food bank to, to work on this issue. The one thing that I would like to look at around poverty is um, the idea around OSAP and how it's not really enough usually to pay for your tuition and your education and your food on top of that. Um, so what happens a lot of times is students get OSAP and then they need to get a part-time job to pay for basic necessities, and then their OSAP gets driven down. Um, so it's something that we can work with the provincial government and have conversations about making sure that students, um, no matter where they come from, are receiving enough money from OSAP or other uh, programs to not only attend university and be successful, but be able to afford to put food on the table. Okay, thank you for your question. Uh, so one of the things to uh, help address poverty would be to uh, have additional scholarships for those in need. Uh, I believe that there's currently many students who are in need who do receive OSAP who still have additional need. Uh, and as uh, Luke said, uh, there are students who are working and then that reduces their OSAP. So really making sure that people are not penalized for working because the people who are working are often those who are closest to poverty. And there's a potential if you work and then use OSAP that you could potentially be working at much less than minimum wage if you do the calculation. Uh, finding more, out more statistics on poverty from the university or f making them ourselves or creating them ourselves through surveys uh, could also be very effective to uh, increase awareness both through campaigns or just so that we understand better what the issues that we're facing. Uh, also, increasing awareness of the food bank I think will be very, very important just because for those students who are in poverty, uh, the food bank is a great resource to uh, ensure that students will have something to eat. Thank you. Um, Luke and Stefan have raised uh, great points, but I think working with the Student Success Office on budgeting well for students, so uh, students have skills to budget the money they already have through OSAP or their uh, uh, jobs that they find, um, as well as creating a better relationship with the region itself, like the Waterloo and Kitchener region, um, and having like the food bank service create that relationship directly with the region versus uh, the university, you know, having these food drives and whatnot and looking at these exterior services to donate to instead of the food bank itself. So having you guys being the first direct contact for the university at faculty level or society level, um, having events where students do um, accept like food products right off the bat, right off the bat, at the entrance as an admission just to directly come to you and create more awareness about you guys being there for the students as well. So SSO and Food Bank. Thank you. Um, we just need to be very careful to ever consider poverty a budgeting issue. Um, some students simply don't have enough money um, to afford to go to school and eat. Um, and OSAT causes that in some cases, and we can't say that people are just not budgeting properly. This is a bigger issue than that. Thank you. Uh, oh, do you want us to run? No, I just wanted to say that, like, through the Student Success Office, like, we can provide that help or that support to help them budget or, like, 
find other resources to where they can uh, get more financial support or how they can get more financial support. Um, yeah, I totally forgot where I was going with that, but yes. I think budgeting is one of the solutions. Uh, the other solutions that I obviously brought up would, would also work, but budgeting has to be one of the solutions that will help towards addressing poverty. Okay. Well, that is the core issue I was talking about, so I'll accept it. All right, thank you. Um, my second question is uh, about our space issue as something that all our services have been talking about. Um, our services need a larger, larger recognition. Um, the food bank is, a, is put away in a very small corridor, as has been discussed by the Women's Center and GLOW as well. I'm sure they'll talk about it. Um, we are not only isolated, but also isolated based on what we provide. A lot of people feel that there's a lot of stigma around food and there should be shame around getting food assistance. So my question to you is that um, we need larger space for larger recognition, as well as to include a large, more larger uh, social component to the food bank. We struggle. We have probably the largest volunteer roster uh, in our uh, sorry, through the services. However, we are very disjointed. We don't really communicate a lot with each other and we try through initiatives to do that. However, I feel with more larger social space, we could definitely have more initiatives and to talk about more social issues. So, sorry, to the point. Um, what are your intentions to assist and empower our service, uh, regardless of our space issues, but also additionally to the space issues? And I just realized I didn't talk about who this should be to. So it's to the internal, <laughs> sorry. I know, I just didn't realize that. Um, to, to internal? Oh, uh, d d let's go Green Nova Spark. Okay, so at this time we are considering uh, our long term policy, like in which we are, we want to. Uh, after completion of a space audit, we want to provide uh, a food bank with a better place. And I know that uh, I really value the the work food bank is doing, and we we think that we should have a, uh, we sh we want to provide them with a better place and in a in a center location where student can have a access in a better way. Uh, to the food bank. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much for that question. Um, and again, I think this is an important time to stress um, that space is a recurring issue across many student groups and of course food bank is one of them. So again, one of the things we really want to look for um, is Looking for um, new space and better space. So one of the things we're doing, again, it, with our new student building initiative, long term, we can look at moving the food bank to a better space, like whether that's in the new building or whether just, that's just a more um, visible and accessible location in the SLC itself. We can look at ways of improving the food bank's image in their own office and in their own space. Um, we also want to, again, look at renovating the SLC, making sure that um, wherever the food bank is, they're very visible and they're accessible so that students don't have that stigma about using the resource. And then um, relating to stigma, another really important point is to push for advocacy. So what we want to do is we really want to partner with other student groups on campus and other student societies. Um, and we really want to push out this message that it's OK to ask for food assistance. That's not a big deal. And we know that all students struggle financially so we really want to make sure that we're reaching out to as many students as we can and by increasing awareness and advocacy we can remove some of the stigma and make sure that students feel comfortable with using the food bank thank you for the question once again um, so I think there's a variety of ways we can help the food bank uh, firstly it starts with ensuring that the food bank is self-sustaining so we want to make sure that the food bank never has to rely on the Kitchener Food Bank for their supplies. We want to make, and the way we can do that is to create awareness within campus that there is actually a Feds Food Bank, a student-run food bank that they can support. Uh, there's a lot of athletics events. There's a lot of residence cleanouts. There's a lot of food drives that occur on campus, and sometimes. 
the university administration does not even know that the fact that there is a student-run food bank. So creating that awareness on campus, advocating to the university administration, to the colleges, to other services on campus that there is a student-run food bank and you should donate, you, you should uh, forward all your, all your donations to, to this organization would be a good start. And secondly, creating awareness about uh, about uh, to students about the fact that there this is a service that they can also benefit from so there's a two-way sort of awareness strategy awareness about the fact that you can donate to them and awareness about the fact that you can use the food bank as a service and uh, you, that can be improved by increased signage within the building uh, collaboration with other fed services like OCC does trick or eat during Halloween so those would be ways where students realize that there is this is a service and access to the food bank after 10 p.m. would also really help. Thank you. Yes. I just want to add a point. Uh, we are also considering to... I can't add a point. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was said yes too quickly. Okay, thank you for your answers. Um, all right, so this is a question for the presidential nominees. Um, uh, going to my last question, and something that two of you actually touched on, uh, how would you link our Fed service to the water university population in general? As well, um, something that I have been touched on, because the fees for the food bank come from undergraduate fees. However, what are your thoughts on including graduate students as well as uh, teachers and profs uh, in, on that fee? Sorry? Oh, no, what is it? Uh, first question, it's sort of like a two-parter. First question is, how would you connect us to the water university population, and what are your thoughts on adding additional fee or dis isolating the population of graduate students and professors from using the food bank or adding a fee? Presidential nominees, I'm sorry, did you not hear me? Sorry. <laughs> So uh, to answer your first question, I think just teaming up with the VP Education and really pushing that uh, municipal advocacy. I know right now there is a municipal affairs commissioner within the VP Education portfolio, and I think just working with them to have that open communication with the city and going out and finding these food banks who are um, available in the region and really working together on that collaboration. And I think if the city sees that collaboration between the food bank here and external ones, they it would really sort of raise awareness that food bank on campus exists and it would also um, increase our advocacy from the VP education perspective. Uh, as far as the second part to your question, I think we can definitely talk to GSA about trying to get them on board. And I think if they were also contributing to the service, that would also be um, definitely something we could try and advocate for. Uh, we could also go through the societies to see if they could sort of send feelers out to the faculty and the administration to see if that would be somewhere where we could take this direction. But um, definitely something we want to have those conversations with the admin and with uh, societies and with um, GSA, so the Grad Student Association. Thank you. So thank you for the question. Uh, to start off with, uh, poverty is a really sensitive issue for students and for everyone actually. And getting assistance is something really hard for students to do and to reach out to people. And I'm actually kind of ashamed that food bank has been shoved away in places that students can't even see and can't even go to. And a lot of students are even embarrassed to go there and ask for food. So to start off with, I would like to see food bank get reallocated somewhere more convenient for students, more centralized and easier for students not to be embarrassed to go in and, and ask for assistance. Uh, the second thing, to, to involve students, um, we need an event to, to show that you know, food drive could be fun. For example, construction, I don't know if you guys heard of it, where students pile up uh, canned food to make shapes. I feel like that event needs to be on campus, right? Uh, it definitely, it's fun and it gets awareness up and, and students will enjoy it and, and it will help serve the cause. Um, as for the second part of the question, unfortunately FEDS is only involved with the undergraduate students. I would love to see graduate students and like I, I would love to see profs, uh, uh, graduate students and everyone get involved in this uh, and we will push for it but the minimum we could do is, is uh, set up food drives in different faculties and societies to ensure that if, they, if uh, graduate students and professors want to do this, they could donate by at least food drives. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for that question. 
Uh, so dealing with the first piece, I think really it's about partnering with the student groups on campus, whether that's the societies, the clubs, and it's what, you know, what VP, my, our VP candidate, uh, Anjali, talked about was partnering with those student groups to really help raise awareness that you guys exist and that you're available and that you're a great resource to donate to, but you're also a great resource to use when needed, right? And that will help with the general stigma associated because as it becomes something that people are more aware of and becomes part more of the regular life, regular interaction, it's, it's not a weird thing to interact with anymore. It becomes something that's just part of everyday life, right? So I think that's the first piece. Also to help bring out the message, and this kind of touches on your second piece as well, is partnering more with the uh, KW community. So working with the Municipal Food Bank, um, we can partner with the GSA and we can partner with the Faculty Association and see if they have interest in helping set up um, or donating to or becoming part of your like the food, food bank that feds provides but if they're not interested in that partnering with the municipal level and sharing that that exists and is an option and promoting that as well will both help promote you to the community but it'll also help promote that the community one exists to the people that we're not able to serve so that's yeah thank you thank you I just wanted to add on to the point, just to clarify, that graduate students and faculty can use our uh, services as freely as they want, in case you weren't aware. That's why I asked about the additional fees, just to make sure. But anyways, thank you for your uh, answers, and that's all the questions I have today. Uh, we'll take a short break, but we'll be back very soon, so please don't leave. Uh, the next is off-campus community.